G'day YouTube, welcome back. We've got a, I'll hit record, we'll get straight into it. G'day awesome people, welcome to episode 155 of the Train Smooth Podcast. My name is Tim Egg, and if you have any questions, jump on to, through to the website, blah, 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 trainsmooth.com, and on the front you'll see, submit your questions, click on that, couldn't be easier, I like your questions. So today's question comes from Gavin. I seem to be getting foot cramps while I swim a lot. Normally I get them when I'm kicking off the wall. What can I do to fix this? So this is actually quite a normal thing for, for people to get on the bottom, that little arch in their in their foot. They normally get cramped up. So they could... It's, I've heard a few people saying, oh, it's what you eat. Look at what you're eating. It's maybe not enough f fluids. But um, generally what I've found... And I have no research to prove that I'm right or wrong here. But this is just going completely off my my own little theories of what, what I've dealt with personally and what um, I've dealt with with athletes. A lot of it comes from t tight, t tight Achilles, tight, um, f tight muscles and tendons in your foot, tight calf muscles. So... Um, let's face it, your foot is the most n neglected part of your body. It's just crazy. So there's a few things you can do to help improve this. So one thing is is get yourself like a golf ball or something and just when you're sitting sitting down at the dinner table or sitting down watching TV or at the office at home, at the work at the office, wherever, just chuck it on the ground and start rolling it around in your foot. Now, this is not only just going to help you with your problem here, but this should help uh, with all sorts of little issues that may pop up in the future. So you, you're nipping these things in the butt. Now, this should be done, I would say, if you can do this every day for a couple of minutes, at least a couple of minutes on each foot. So you just roll it around on your foot. Just, and then you, if you find some little tight spot, you really dive it in, try and press it in deeper, hold that for 30 seconds, and then slowly roll it around the spots. Try and get all those areas um stretching regularly um stretching the calf so there's two different ways the most or there's a few different ways to stretch but i'd be not only just stretching the calf i'd be looking at stretching the whole body out doing mobility sessions i'm a huge for them um i'd be looking at doing at least three mobility sessions full body mobility sessions starting from the feet all the way up to the um, neck head at least three times a week minimum you know 25 30 minutes 20 minutes start off with start off with 10 minutes just do it very lightly and just slowly bring it up um you because you can go this guy is absolutely full of crap but you you'll find a lot of the people that are doing yoga or a lot of mobility sessions um, that are going to a mesu regularly or doing it themselves on foam rollers all the time they're not really having these problems. So now, if I've, I used to have this problem, and it completely went away when I started doing all these little things. I had a couple of athletes that's happened to. We've, we've started doing, you know, more time on the foam rollers, getting the um, golf ball or tennis ball or, or whatever you can get your grubby little hands on to on the ground and really massaging that foot. And that, that helps with so many other things. But as I, as I said before... Um, and just trying to look after your body, it, it, it just helps a lot. Um, and and may, maybe look at the way you're kicking off off the, off the wall. Are you springing off hard and getting you that foot, foot, foot straight hard and bending it too far down? Or it, it, could, it could, could be it. But it is very common. Um, but I, I, I would probably look at massage in flexibility first before I do go on to that next hunting ground and and you're, you're probably not going to get rid of it straight away it's probably going to take you a few you know a six a good six weeks to get rid of it maybe a little bit longer I it shouldn't take any longer but if you, if you still got if you're doing it properly doing all these little things I said massaging flexibility um just looking after that whole area doing that most days Within six weeks, it should be definitely gone. If it's not, contact me back, and I'll, I'll actually do a little bit of research instead of just banging this from the top of my head, and we'll, we'll uh, knock it out. 
that if you guys have any other questions, jump on and send me an email, tim at trainsmove.com. Till tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, hooroo. We're done. See ya.